Howdy, I'm John Richmond, and I'm the inventor and the manufacturer of the Sluice Goose Industries Gold Drop Miner. This particular model of the miner was constructed out of aluminum pipe and anodized the gold color for hardness and durability. This particular gold drop miner was built to be sent to Columbia to be tested by the University of British Columbia as a replacement for mercury amalgamation in the artisanal mining industry. Various mining sites will be visited who use it and who do not use mercury, gathering samples of tailings and sending these samples back to British Columbia to the university for analysis. We sure are looking forward to the results of that analysis. In the meantime, this video, I will be processing two bags of sacrete multi-purpose sand that I purchased at the Lowe's store here in Albany, Oregon. And I will show you the tiny microscopic gold the gold drop miner extracts that is beyond the reach of using mercury amalgamation. We'll begin operation of the gold drop miner by clamping the battery clamps to their positive pet battery post. One operates this 12 volt pump, which is the wash pump for washing material through the screen into the gold drop. And the other one is for the pump that is actually pumping the water through the gold drop. The principle of operation of the gold drop miner is basically that of gravity. So as you are adding dirt into the screen here and washing it in with the water, that washes down into the trap of the body. Well, the exit here is at a lower level than the entrance of the dirt so that as dirt is coming in it displaces the dirt that's in the trap up and out and into the tailings bucket so as the water comes into the tailings bucket as the level of the water changes and rises in the tailings drum that forces the water through these siphon hoses and into the pump drum to maintain level water between the two drums. And that's how the water recirculates through the gold drop. The water that's siphoning into the pump drum is minus the solids that is draining into the tailings drum and therefore the dirt and the silt can dirty the water but it does not interfere with the operation of the gold drop system this is the sand purchased at my local Lowe's store here sacrete multi-purpose sand that i'll be processing through the gold drop and it's just just basically just sand is all it is but we'll extract the gold that's hiding in this sand, no doubt about it.
there is a tiny gold extracted out of two bags of sacrete multi-purpose sand through the gold drop miner in 10 minutes time. That will dry it up and get even closer and take a look at these gold particles. This is the gold extracted from two bags of sacrete multi-purpose sand. You can see how tiny those gold particles are. This is probably all gold, unrecoverable using mercury because of its size and it's not pristine gold. Looks like we have some copper in our view too. Pretty tiny stuff. So there you have it. Gold extracted from two bags of sacri multi-purpose sand purchased at our Albany Lowe's store. Not much there, but the value is in seeing that the gold drop miner can extract this tiny gold beyond the reach of mercury. Thanks for watching and thanks for being interested.